You know how the devil feels about that guy and his truth. Iran is a director and he's making a movie about hell on earth, hell unleashed up top. And Ron wants to be very realistic. So he has opened up the gates of hell that they have up there in Hollywood. And his assistant, Adam, walks up to him. And he says, well, you know, can't you just close the gates? When we go to lunch and, you know, when we're done for the day. And Ron says, no, oh, no. If we close the gates, then you know, it would cool down. It's been rather hot lately. And yes, all those uh, flowers and plants and trees would start growing. We can't have that. Then Adam says, oh yeah, I wanted to show you this. Look what happened in Eagle Rock. And on his phone, he shows Ron a short video of a couple of beautiful, hot blonde a girls, four college girls this summer parking on Eagle Rock and they get out, they're gonna go see yours truly melt and yeah suddenly they get shy and they get back in their car they haven't you know, worked up their courage well enough remember their strength in numbers get the rest of the cheerleading squad that's uh, bond and near bond and come see me but anyway in the video they get back in their car and drive away. And Ron says, oh, wow, so they're, they're thinking about going to see Mountain, are they? That's good. I got to go to lunch, Adam. Here a helicopter checking post in five four two four two two nine four one four zero. Well, I grabbed one of them. The other one came along for the ride. Oh, things will fly around this apartment. Got my contact. So nine eleven flight nine three check is you trying to call me? With your family's lifeline, your lifeline. See the phone you're making a video of. Does every child in America's lifeline to the fireman, police, paramedics, and make a video of being hijacked? Whatever boring thing you get, phone ringing, error message, busy signal. It's not going to be boring if you need the fireman, police, paramedics, so make a video of it now. It's not going to be boring, and it's going to be just as newsworthy as me asking for a 93 check. For a decade, and not getting one of them. It's about religious censorship, yes, but it's about that religious censorship that affects our lifeline. Remember, they placed a Muslim man in our White House. Cowardly Hussein placed in our White House after we got attacked by a whole lot of cowardly Husseins. 
something to remember but uh, uh, yeah if you were calling up the folks say nine was it or ten years ago and telling them whatever you do they're trying to place a cowardly Hussein in a White House Don't let that happen. Remember, we just got attacked by those cowardly good things. And I don't think, it, I mean, it's not unpolitically correct. I mean, that's what happened. You don't think attacking with 9 11 is cowardly? You don't think the censorship of a phone to affect your lifelines is cowardly? You're, you're too damn politically correct. Wake up and smell the coffee. These are my Sigmata ones, genetic ones. Uh, the same as the changing eyes. I'm going to show you the changing eyes soon, I hope, to make this video very quick. But yeah, ask and answer Jesus' question is Barack Hussein Obama terrorist? I've got my answer. I haven't got one 9 11 Flight 93 check call. The other heroes of 9 11 fought back against those terrorists by. Physically fighting back against those terrorists and making calls with their phones. All of our phones make videos nowadays. Make a video, fight back against those terrorists, by taking your calls. Post it. 434-229-4140. Whatever you get when you don't get me. It's going to be boring. That phone ringing every message is a busy signal. It's not going to be boring. You need fireman, police, permit. Firemen, police, and paramedics, blue-eyed DNA and brown-eyed DNA, fighting it out with the vocal cord. It's not going to be born then, and it's not going to be born every day. Unless money out of your pocket, you get that uh, phone ringing, you get that error message, you get that busy signal. When you call up countless other customers. That's your Gates livelihood, your Spectrum livelihood, your Walmart livelihood. Whatever is big name in your business, so they can get the business instead of you. Censorship's often boring. Phone ringing, there is a busy signal. But yeah, it's not going to be boring if you need firemen, police, paramedics. All firemen. Of the fire stations phone, all policemen of the police stations phone, all soldiers of the military bases phone. And of course each other's phones. Make that video. You protect America. 158. Protect us from the threat from within. You have the same threat they can place. I was, I'm not a fan of the, the buffoon wrestling guy Trump either. You want, you can uh, say, uh, is a Trump a terrorist? You happen to support Hussein and at least what you know he did while in office. The news media isn't reporting on a lot of stuff like our blatantly censored lifelines. I don't play favorites. Truth is my favorite. Make that video of America's Hijacked Lifelines and post it. Now back to Ron going to lunch and leaving Adam. In charge, he says, you got to guard the gates of hell. Otherwise, you got a, a lot of folks going to be going down there stealing from the devil. And we can't have that. So you guard that gate, those gates of hell, and whatever you do, if the devil should come up top, Oh, he has to meet folks he's made packs with. If the devil should come up top, do not show him that video of those two attractive blonde girls on their way to see Melton. Don't show it to him. You know how he feels about the son of a carpenter and Mary meant his truth. 
Yes, I am the old son of a carpenter. My dad a carpenter worked on skyscrapers. Mom, Marianne. I am the son of a carpenter. I get to tell parables. And this is wonderful. It's a morning. Get to stretch out a little bit, a little longer with my sugar checks on the nightly parable pipe. I still want to keep it quick, but yeah, I had to. I was going to put that the college students weren't uh, weren't uh, yeah hot blonde college students. They were a couple of gals dressed in white. No, no, not to get married. It's the color of their habits. I was going to do that, but yeah, I, I'm kind of torn because I haven't gotten one you know, bad comment, phone, mail, internet, about any of my son of a carpenter, very funny uh, humor. So I decided uh, I'll just go with the... Uh, Oh, I haven't gotten any comments about the Osama rumor either that Barack Hussein Obama is Osama's son. Put the two photos side by side, check out the eyes, and don't be a hater. They're mixing things up all over the place. I hear he grew up in Africa during those formative years to be closer to his dad. Yeah, as I say often, pick up your phone, try to call me, 424-229-4140, and see Osama's son hijacking America's lifeline. It doesn't make any difference whether it's a dirty, bearded, uh, wearing a bed sheet guy hijacking a lifeline, or it's a, a clean Harvard type. Not letting that phone work for their reasons. Sending messes in this neighborhood or that neighborhood. It doesn't matter which of those, politically correct or the actual terrorist. Doesn't matter which one. If you're trapped in a burning building with your family and you can't get the police or fire engine in there. So expose, uh, yeah, ask, that, ask and answer that question. Is Barack Hussein Obama a terrorist? Post it. And yeah, I was going to use a couple of nuns for myself, Clark and Mary Humor, but, well, it would, it would take a little while to, uh, I just barely got it in that minute. But, you know, they could have been coming to see me to uh, ask for some nice saint imagery. You know, my saint imagery could be so much better if you get me photos to work with. I'm working with L.A. City. And, yes, yeah, just me. That's a great wall of evil around me. That's just me and all of my imagery. Me in Los Angeles and flowers and palms. Tear down the Great Wall of Evil has just me and all this imagery. And let's get started building a better world with those thousand points of light. Jesus is immaculate house here on earth. Cities, communities, really, not just those places you go to on Sunday. Or Saturday, another day of the week. But the best mankind has to offer in those homes inspire the future with what you put in there. Art, science, landscaping, architecture, people. But yeah, uh, be so much better if a lot of those saints have uh, cathedrals and churches named after them all over the world. Nice cathedral and a sunrise or a sunset is always nice. I'm doing uh, imagery about saints from Sweden, saints from Italy, and what are you seeing? You're seeing Italy. Oh, come see me. Not only do I have wit and will travel, I've uh, I can take those photos you hand me and design some beautiful imagery. Let's do that.
Come see me, tell me what you think of America's Hijack Life Plans. Tell me what you think of my imagery. Tell me about your favorite saint so I can design some imagery around that saint. And, uh, yeah, let's do just that. So I, I got too many to go through. I'm going to have to get into uh, doing my, my uh, eyes and then going. Let me get a couple more. Get that domino effect carrying truth to the world. Let me call me up in front of mayors, governors, senators. Certify your mail to them. I'm about you certified the mail to me that gets stolen. Not one bit of certified mail. FedEx, UPS, none of that. In the decade I've been asking before all that. But try to call me up in front of the mayor and the governor and say, when else will my phone not be allowed to work? Especially those network news anchors, those local news anchors, any and all in the public eye who are not doing the jobs. This is easily documented. You can show them how to document it right there. Get your wife's phone out. You make the video of your wife's phone, your family's life on not working. As you're trying to call me and say, why isn't that news? Everything is fake news compared to that. Our family's lifeline not working. Get their ex and post. Get everyone in the public eye weighing in on dangerous censorship in America. We the people must be the reporters. They're not doing the jobs. Now more than ever, we can do that job with our phones. They make videos, they post videos. I'm trying to call John Milton Brady. You got your phone, you make some video, whoever's in the room there with you. I'm trying to call John Milton Brady. He hasn't gotten a 9-11 plate 93 check in a decade of asking. And you call and whatever boring thing you get. Phone ringing, every Mrs. Business says, well, censorship is often boring. Whatever boring thing you get. Yeah, you post it. YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, a hundred more. You tell everyone in your audience here. Make that video of America's Hijack Lifelines and post it. And make your own 93 check videos. You can post and repost those fives there that are prepared as 4 by 6 photos. And find some good minute 93 check videos of mine and post and repost them. Make your own. You see that uh, siren coming down the street? Get out your phone, make a video. Call John Mountain Bray, you try to, and make a video of whatever you get. When you don't get him, you're getting censorship, and it affects their lifelines. Tell them to check and post and five. Now, uh, the eyes have been changing since 96, uh, 1996. Oh, I forgot the best part of that. Ron. He, uh, he says, I'm going to lunch. And, uh, whatever you do, the devil crawls up to, um, wreak havoc upon, upon the face of the earth. Don't let him see that video on your phone there. Those, those bored college girls going to see Melton. You know how he feels about the son of God and Mary, and it's true. And Adam says, okay, I won't, but wait, what does the devil look like? And Ron says, oh, you know the devil. He's got the horns, he's got the tail, he's got the pitchfork, and oh yeah, he's Chinese. Oh, a lot of folks know that. So others don't, so I put it in. Remember, you only have to tell that joke perfectly once. Just get it on video. That goes for the serious stuff as well. Get a nice short format. Get it out there.
what you believe. Get it to the world. Now this is my eye, brown eye. It looks a little lighter on screen, but uh, this is the way it looks when it's printed out as a photo, and you can see a little bit of light color there. It's from five and a half years ago, and this is from, I'm guessing, four years. I'm not sure anymore, because I was certain this was from about nine years ago, because it was very dark brown. And this is the way my eyes have been most of my life, or at least up until 96, or 1996, and they started changing, and Smaller browner circles, slowly disappearing. Very dark brown, smaller brown circles. Bigger blue circles growing in through and around. Medical research being passed by. And here's what the eyes look like now. Yeah, they're going is in a, a kind of whitish around the brown there. And it doesn't look very much raised against that because of the white. But it can look raised where the brown is in the center. And the outer circle of the brown, the smaller browner circle inside the color part of the eyes. It's missing the brown circle on the outside. The white, I've been taking the vitamins by a year and it is going to work doing that genetic carpentry you know what's going on with the eyes come tell me person have wit will travel show in the perfect place to build jesus this is a nice good house here on earth best people to start building with but you got to do that in person come tell me what needs to be put in that big opportunity house opportunity for a whole lot of folks from all kinds of backgrounds and ways of life to build a better world, opportunity for them. But I have to call it uh, Jesus is a Magdalene house because it's in the fine print. There will be a test at the end.